Hello and welcome to another mini series on our Spotfire mods. Today we're going to be doing the candlestick chart. So what is a candlestick chart? Now a candlestick chart is typically used with financial data. It's kind of like mini box plot. So here it is on Wikipedia and you can see that each candlestick has a body which is showing the opening price of a stock or security, the closing price, and then the upper shadow and lower shadow shows the high and low for the day. So that is one candlestick and you'll have multiple candlesticks for each period in your candlestick chart. Today we're going to be using this data from the cryptocurrency historical prices on Kaggle, this open data set if you'd like to try for yourself. And we're using the Spotfire mods. I'm going to put this link in the video description. Remember, for Spotfire mods, you can just click a mod, go to learn more, and then it'll take you to the exchange where you can download the mod and you'll get a zip file that you can easily unzip and get the .mod file mod file. And that .mod file, just drag and drop it into Spotfire and you have your mod. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I've already brought in my data. I've already loaded up my mod. All I need to do is click my stock chart mod and here we go. Okay, so it's asking me, how do I want to configure this? I'm going to throw away my data and I have on my name column, I have date and I'm going to set my date as my X axis. So there is my date going across and I already have this nice little hover where I can see this, these crosshairs. Well, let's go ahead and configure this chart. So what's my opening price? It's the column named open. What's my, uh, what's my high? My high is a column named high. This is all pretty simple here. Low is my column named low and close is my column named close. All right, so there's my candlesticks. At the bottom I have the volume. That's all, that's all level. It's because I haven't indicated the volume. I will use my volume column. So here we are with our candlestick chart. And if I want to take a look at this data, here's my cryptocurrency price history. Bring that down here. You can see all that data that I just applied. It's in a nice, easy format to use. Now you'll notice if I click my, if I left click and I move up and I move down, I, I'll be able to move this chart around, but I'm not able to mark the data. This data table or this data visualization responds to markings, but it does not allow you to mark itself. But if you'd like, you can do something like a tree map and this tree map, I'm gonna configure this like a nice little legend. Let's, let me uh, space some things out here. Let you take a look at this. Uh, I'll take out my color by, I will take out my size by, I'll take out my, oh, actually I'll leave my hierarchy and let's go ahead and color this a nice gray color, dark gray color. I like that, uh, gray is my favorite color. Can't you tell? All right, so I've moved that around and this has a marking, which is a marking here. It's a gray marking, once again, gray. And then here, this is not really responding to anything yet, but I can go ahead and go to data, have this limited by that marking, show all data. Now, when I click my different coins, my different crypto coins, I can see how they all are, and I can kind of drill down on them. But because I use average as my aggregation, if I don't click any of these coins, then I can see the average of all of these with these little candlesticks in there. I'm scrolling up right now and I can zoom in on these. I can zoom out on these and you get this, all of these normal features you might have in Spotfire for a line chart and a, and uh, the scrolling and the and the sliding around things like that. Some of that is a little bit different again by just clicking and sliding. I really like this uh, hover with this crosshairs. You'll see on my Y axis, it'll show you that price, and on my X axis, it'll show you the date. So you can really hone in on the data there. So that's it for today's quick tip on the candlestick chart mod. Make sure you go download it, try it out for yourself. It's lots of fun. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.